I know I was supposed to make my topper with you, but when I had it all held together, I, I couldn't lose it. So I had to go sew and make my little thing. So what I have is a piece of purple lace that I thought would go because, you know, it's a purple journal. So I snapped off a piece of that. I have some of this vintage lace tablecloth that I cut and put behind there, um, right here. I know, I hate to cover that, but oh well. And then this is some um, shiny shimmer netting that's kind of pink, but you can't really tell that it's pink. But I thought that would go cute on here. Oh, I forgot my little tie thing, dog on it. Um, hold on, let me go, I know. Well first, I hope you're having a good day so far. And let me go real quick and grab what I want to use for ties because I totally forgot about it. And I need to move my thing up. I know. Hold on. Uh, okay, there we go. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I thought using these two colors, uh, um, a lilac and a, I don't even know, oh, mauve mist and light orchid would be pretty to pull some other shades of purples through here, but you know, since it has so many, but I wanted to glue it behind my um, fairy. Oh, good grief. Okay, so I know I need, I need some kind of rubber band or something to hold this bad boy closed. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought it would be pretty if we did it like this. I know I'm going to do them longer, but, and then you'd have that for your ties with two other colors. So, you know, you still get your purples. So that's what my plan is. So I probably want, I know there's no rhyme or reason to this, just enough to, to be able to tie a good a good tie. So, and I think I want the darker on top like that. Oh, I got some little netting <laughs> hanging around. Oh, and then we're gonna wrap this around like that. And I guess it would be like little, you know, little streamers, little fairy streamers. Okay, so we have that. We set this aside and put this on here. Well, let me just see, make sure somebody, if they're the same length, okay, so I'm good. One's a little longer. You know, you always want a little longer because you know, we always tie funky. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of, um, Fabri-Tac down here. Let me make sure I'm in. Nope. I got to get up top. Okay, I'm there. All right, I want to put a little Fabri-Tac. Oh, gosh, it's stuck in there. <laughs> I know. You would think I would be able to hold it and twist it with that funky hand, but no. All right, so we are going to... Cause we're not going to see this so it's not going to hurt if it bleeds through a little bit but i just want it to you know stay down underneath the topper and make sure i'm putting it on straight Oops, don't get it in the in the bottle. Yeah, so oh yeah, gosh, let me tell you about my last two days. Holy cow. So yes, I did post the videos about the um making your TNs using your 12 by 12 papers. Because the second part two, I know, was a little snooty and a little mean, but anyway, you know, I do, I do speak, 
speak my mind, unfortunately. And, and yes, I do sometimes just vent a little too much, but, um, but the night before last, little girl ate carpet. She does have a bad habit of this, and we have some of our older carpets that I've been meaning since last year when she did this last year. Um, you know how you get carpets, and they're woven, and then when it starts unraveling, this those long yarn things? Well, she will sit there and eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it. Well, last year, luckily, she was able to throw it up. <sighs> Day for yesterday. What is today? Today's Friday. Wednesday. Wednesday night, you know, she was sick all night. Couldn't throw it up for nothing. And, um, you know, and then I woke up. Oh, gosh, where we are. Thursday, yeah, yesterday. Oh, I'm so lost in my days. And she's got a good, uh-oh, I'm going to need some more glue. She's got this big old 12-inch of yarn hanging out of her mouth. And she's just sitting there. I mean, because she threw up all night. Got three dog beds. You know, didn't throw up in her own. No, 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 no. Threw up in everybody else's dog beds. Well, just three of them. She didn't, you know, dare go near Mia um, or Fergie's bed. <laughs> but she got Jake's. Um, Rusty's, I mean, went all around the room, throwing up in the room, threw up on the, uh, the side, the rug that's on the side of the bed Threw, I, I mean, just like I said, got three beds and five rugs. And that was just through the night. And John said she didn't sleep. Cause you know, John didn't, doesn't sleep well now. And, um, I know I'm trying to get all this out. Poo wee. And, um, so then, you know, we wake up Thursday morning and, you know, she first thing she does, she hits the water bowl, and then she starts trying to throw up again, and she can't get nothing up but the grass she's tried to eat to help her throw up and everything else. So when I got up, you know, I got about quarter till eight. Um, she, like I said, she's sitting there with drool hanging out of her mouth because she, she's miserable and got 12 inches of this stinking yarn hanging out. I'm like, oh my God, little girl. I told you not to do that. Well, it's my fault. I should have threw the rugs away last year, but I didn't because I hated to throw out that money, but you know, it sure would have been cheaper. So I uh, tried to pull it out of her mouth. Well, it would not come out. I mean, it's, it's stuck inside in her tummy. So I called the vet and I told him, like, oh my God, yeah, I told him what happened. And they said, that, you know, how soon can you get here? Well, we're an hour, 15, hour, 30 minutes away, depending on, you know, what kind of traffic and stuff that we, that we run across. So they said, you know, this is an emergency. Just get her in and we will work her in. And I'm like, okay, we're on our way. So, you know, me and Brianna had to get in the car, get, get little girl all set up and a bed and everything and into the back seat and. And all that fun stuff and we you know drive our happy little booties all the way to you know where our vet is I know we just put a little bit on here since this is bougie out and um, and we get there and you know we don't have to wait long they get us right in and you know our dr. Mandy she's like oh my gosh I said I'm, I'm telling you I said I just you know it's time to to, to, to throw in the white flag I said I, I can't take any more of these animals and um, She's like, oh, yeah, that's good and stuck. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, do you know how much she got? And I'm like, no. I said, I don't even know what rug she has because we have one on the outside. Um, you know, because when they get old and worn, I kind of put them out on the outside on the porches so they can lay on them out there. And um, I said, I have no idea. I said, but since she cannot um, cough it up or throw it up, I said, I'm having to think that it is quite a bit because, you know, she did this before. To make sure that I'm I'm still straight again, and I am, and my little doo-boppies are there, and um, and she's like, well, she says, um, you know, and we had brought a little piece of yarn because you know she was sitting there just chewing, chewing, chewing with the back of her her teeth, trying to break the yarn so she could you know swallow whatever was still in her throat and everything. But I mean, there was so much in there. I just I just you know, there's no way. So. You know, Dr. Manny, she's like, well, um, fabric doesn't show up on x-rays or an ultrasound. She says, we have to go in there and do surgery. So I kind of figured. And uh, God help me. I don't know how much it is yet. But anyway, so I couldn't let her die. So, I don't know, John's like, if it happens again, 
we're gonna have to use a bullet and I'm like oh John don't say that and he's like he said we just can't afford this and I'm like I know and um, so and I forgot to seal my little my little ends right there but so you know we we leave her and she says you know I'll call you tomorrow afternoon you know in the afternoon let you know how things go and you know they did blood work to make sure that little Miss Fatty was healthy enough to do surgery because that was my other biggest concern because you know she's a toy beagle which is you know small she weighs 31 pounds I know she she you know all of our doggies are are, are chunky they, they take after their mommy and um, I don't I might leave that there until I glue my stuff on there so they call us back yesterday afternoon around four and said you know everything's fine she made it through surgery we had to go in to we had to make three incisions to get all of it out she says she ate quite a bit I said, I figured she did because, I mean, I couldn't, you know, couldn't get it out. And um, and she says, we need to keep her overnight, and then we'll, you know, check on her in the morning, and I'll call you in the morning. I'm like, okay. And, uh, you know, which in the meantime, because I told her, so if I don't answer my phone, I said, it's because I'm on the phone with one of John's doctors, because we went from having one doctor appointment next week to four doctor appointments next week, because he's bleeding internally. They can't, they don't know what the problem is. Well, his quack doesn't want to do anything, so she's trying to get the... Uh, his lung doctor to do something his lung doctor is like there's nothing we can do you know he says he said I cannot go in there and and put him under and and explore for something that we know you know that the cancer is causing this but John that's not good enough for him so we now we've got an appointment with the ENT to go see him and then they made us an appointment for their palliative care management for next Thursday well you know the lung doctor has recommended that we use this um, uh, palliative care, which is, you know, kind of like the first stage of the hospice stuff, um, company. And, um, you know, which John's upset. He's like, I'm not dead yet, and I'm not dying. And I'm like, John, you know, they just... His lung doctor feels that he needs to be monitored and checked more than every three weeks because his fluid's coming back in his lung, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's, you know, anyway, so we're just not talking about that. So now we got them coming out on Tuesday. Well, John's upset because, you know, he thinks I'm trying to kill him sooner. And I'm like, no, I said, these people are, are going to, you know, check on you two or three times a week to make sure that this fluid's not building up more. I mean, his liver enzymes are, have, have gone up to the roof and just stuff and his on, his oncologist prescribed him zero zero nothing for the fluid in his lungs didn't run any other test or anything she's just passing the buck telling us to go see all these other people and it really you know pissed our um lung doctor in them off and so she's um you know they got in into the middle of it to try to help him because the whole point of this of palliative care is to make your quality of life better and so and I got I got to tie this so it doesn't jump on me so we can glue our other things on there so anyway and so and these people actually did explain some things to me on the phone which is more than you know anybody else has but this doctor is known for not telling anybody squat. Oh, look at all that lovely. Anyway, so we're trying to do that and to see as many doctors that are willing to see him. And I guess any tests that them of them that are, you know, wanted to make some more money off of him will do. Which, you know, I don't like, but you know, he's not happy with what one says and even though he's like oh I'll do whatever he recommends well now all of a sudden he doesn't want to do what he recommends because he doesn't he you know anyway so anyway. so we are playing that game all right so I want to put this little thing on here which is just some little oh, hello little fabric with some gold run through it I thought it would be pretty on here some little green and gold um, that I have. I thought it would pull out the green on here and this little um, flower rosette. Oh, you know what? What did I... I've got something 
Let me see where I've put it because, you know, I've got this mound going on over here. I can always get up and go get another one, but I put it over here. Well, snodgrass. Hoop monkeys. Okay, well, hold on. Let me put you on hold. Go, go get another one because I'm not going to find that pile. I'll be right back again. Okay, guys, I found it. So, I had, there's another one that I pulled that I wanted to use, but these are some sparkly puffed dimensional butterflies, and I want to put one up there. I think I'm going to use that one because all of this looks more purplish. And then, you know, I don't know. Let me cut these off. have that and that this might be too big I don't want to pull out some and that might need something else back there now I know that's what I said <laughs> um let me see we have this will this be enough to kind of like anchor oh I think maybe let's try some of this back here Put that on top, and then that, even though I kind of want the flowers to show. All right. And then, oh, I have these. Oh, and I have these. These are like little water bubble sequins, and then I have these flowers. I was hoping, well, not to make a mess, but um, I was hoping there were some large, larger, oh, and you know, and I still have all right, I, I, I got something else, too. But I wanted to look in here. I know we're probably going to go over my little 30-something minutes, but... Oh, my gosh, they even have a little butterfly. Oh, that's a flower. I'm bad. I thought it was a butterfly. No. Oh, but they have itty-bitties. Oh, dear goodness. Let's see. Okay. Oh, somebody fell out. Wondering. See, no fingernails, and I need them now. If I put, all right, I got these at Hobby Lobby in their spring section. I think they were forty percent off. I'm gonna have to put them in a jug because you know I'm gonna spill them. They don't have a sealy top, so I'm gonna be in trouble. Let's see what else we can find down here. Um. I don't know. I think this green. Yeah. I think I need to stick with a little pinks and a little purples. Let's see if we can find another. Oh, I've got a, another purple flower. And an itty bitty pink. So I'm going to. Let's just stick with these. I know. I've got to. Let me put them in a, in a drawer. I know it's not where they belong, but it's with some other sequin things, but it's kind of cool. All right, so we have that and that. Oh, I was looking for a smaller button because I think that one is just a little too big. Let's see, we have like that little one. Okay, I'm kind of liking that one. That one's definitely too big. Oh. That one's too close to that color. We don't need one up there. Don't we have this one? I know, it's kind of fat though. Oh, we have a heart. No. I sure hope I'm doing okay for this journal <laughs> for the lady who bought it because she didn't know what I had planned on the cover. So I'm trying to just keep it with what I was, you know, doing. And then um, since everything else was okay, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be okay. 
All right, so that's a dark one. I think I need, I know I'm trying to find a pretty light, a light color one. I know one day I'm gonna get my hands stuck in here. But my hands just fit in these big old. Peanut butter jars. Because <laughs> I have big hands, you know, big palms. So, yep. Yeah. Like I told you, I can't wear a uh, bangle. I mean, um, what are those bracelets? Whatever. <laughs> that you slip your hand in. Because my hands to um, my, you know, it's, I have a, a big hand. So I can't wear those because they don't make them. Ooh, he's got some flowers, but that's the back part. That's so weird. All right, so we're going to quit digging. I'm going to give myself too many options and I'm going to be, you know, upset over it. Okay, so let's put that down. Now, i got some string. Let's, let's put these things on here. All right, let me put this back in here. Maybe I'll find his friend. All right, and then I was thinking, where's my tweezers? Because, you know, I might be needing them. Oh, should have waited a week to finish this so I'd have nails again. I was thinking of putting that on there so the, so much orange. I don't know. I don't mind it, though. Okay, let's just, let me stand up and look at this. Oh, let me put it in your spot. Okay, I'm liking it. All right, let's just start gluing, and then we'll add more friends on it in a little while. Okay, so I know I definitely want this up here. <sighs> Come on, you quacky thing. I know, it just bubbles out when you don't want it. And then you set it down on its side, and it's like, oh, we're not going to come out. We're good. And then here it goes. Volcano. Okay. I know, I'm about to walk it down to me. That's where I wanted it. All right, and let's get our butterfly on there. Oh, they're not lifted up too high because that's, you know, not glued down even though it looks like it is. <laughs> All right, we'll come back and, and touch it down good in a minute. All right, let's glue this on. Oh, yep. Yeah. So, man, I just can't believe that little girl did that and now we have that wonderful bill but yep like I said got them all got them all in the trash bag and we no longer own any of those rugs I'm just trying to see which side But, oh, anyway, and then the vet called this morning, you know, just say that she did good through the night, but she won't eat. And I think it's because she's so drugged. She's got, she's, you know, been, got so much pain medicine going on. And, uh, and she is 
picky on top of it. She is finicky. Um, but so she, she said she'll call me back today at four and she said she might keep her another night. And I'm like, well, you know, that that's fine. <laughs> not really, but that's okay. You know, if she's not ready to come home, then she, you know, she doesn't need to come home, especially with all these other heathens around here. So she definitely needs to have a little recuperation time before she comes. So now I got to figure out where I'm going to keep her, how I'm going to get her up and down these stinking stairs. Because she weighs so much. You know, my body says <laughs> it can't carry its own self. Now we've got to carry her. Oh, my God. So, but, you know, I'm going to suck it up. Oh, Lord have mercy. But anyway, so, yeah, so now we got to take care of her. It's all my fault. some of that green to show behind there all right so now now we have those on there and I could hold it up without it falling <laughs> all right so let's see what we can do oh, my stuff's gonna go everywhere okay we have like that purple but I was thinking of putting oh no I was gonna Maybe put, ah, uh, I have to get my other tweezers. I don't know, I'm kind of okay with that. Oh my gosh, my stuff's just bubbling out. So if I put that on there, maybe we can put, I have to get my little, Pickup stick. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's gonna make me go back in there and dig, dig itty bitty white one out, clear one out. I just think this is gonna be too much purple and purple. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, shoot. Where's? You know, I put my stuff in these little things just so I wouldn't lose them well hello lost they are google me glue oh, good grief all right let me just come over here hold on y'all let me put you on pause again I know I'll be right back okay guys I'm back so I put my flowers in a um, dry roasted sunflower container because I knew it was it was not going to end well all right and then this is the thing I was looking for this little butterfly but when I put them on here I thought yeah it kind of took away from it so after all that I gave up on it but I did find a little bitty flower to go in here. So I think I'm going to do that with my jewel picker or in here. I don't know. I think maybe if I put, oh gosh, I think I might put the white one in here in this purple on here and then put those on. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So now that my glue is just, you know, exploding everywhere, let's put some down. You know, and then it doesn't want to come off. I mean, typical. I'm going to get all over my fingers. Okay, so we're going to put that one right there. And then we're going to put this lighter one. Behind it. Well.
gonna let that dry for a few minutes before I glue those on there. But I, I am thinking about maybe putting, I don't know, this just needs, oh, I was supposed to be putting a, a word on there. Now my stuff's stuck. Okay, let's look. I know, I'm going to have to go get, reprint of one that says, I think I have one that says fairy on there. Not that one. That's a personal joke on, with someone. Okay, so, I know. Let me, oh, we have these two, though. So I'm going to use those two. Ouch. Let me see if this is going to be too much purple. I don't know. I might have to put those little ones on first to make sure how much shimmer is going to be going on. Yeah. Alright. I'll be right back. Let me go print another sheet of that page so I can have the, a fairy fairy so I can put that on here and then I'll be right back okay guys I'm back I found my parts and pieces cut it all out so I have my little fairy that I'm gonna put on here and then I found some um, shimmer iridescent paper so I want to put that on here so let me glue that on and then we'll trim around it because I want to put that down on the bottom I know and see the more I look at this I need a third stinking button over here I know I might have to put them there I don't know we'll see I'm getting hungry see I didn't eat lunch before I came down here I'm like no I got to film this and get it done Brianna's awake I hear the TV on anyway all right, so I just want a little of that to show behind it. Well, I'm waiting for that to kind of pick up a little bit so I can rub any glue off of it without making a bigger mess. Let's, I'm going to use this um, Crafter's Pick, the ultimate, it's, um, I get it at Hobby Lobby, it's, um, well, I got it, it's $5.99, I think it's $6.99 now, and you know, you don't get to use your coupon, but I've kind of noticed that the, these things that have that silver back, when you use some glue, it kind of makes it, um, eats the back off, so I'm just gonna try real hard. To get a little bit of glue, I think I'm just going to do best putting a, a, a dab. I mean, it does dry clear. It is thick, but I mean, it it really does. It's one of those glues to have in your in your craft arsenal because it really does glue most most anything. All right, let's get our little picky, and I was going to put. Use the other side. I'm just gonna put the darker one on this one, and the light one. Oh, you're gonna fight on me! And <clears throat> all right, need a little more spit. Sometimes you have to use nature's glue. I'm wondering. I know I might have to. I think I'm gonna have to dig this out and get the. Oh my gosh, and get the smaller. I mean a bigger stinking purple. E. I know when I looked at it. Let me take this out. Let me see if I can find the next size up. Oops. As I throw things out. 
Let me see if I get lucky looking in here with my little kaleidoscope. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it with my... I did. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Oh, I was going to like, I'm going to leave this out. No, we're going to put our lid back on there. Okay, so now let's put a little more glue on here. Now, and the only thing you know about oh crud about this glue is it does take probably 15 minutes for it to really grab, but it's um, flexible. It's book binding glue, and um, like I said, I love it. But it does take a little more time to glue than. All right, I like that. The smaller one and the medium one. Oh, I thought that was glue. That's just some of the shine in the in the flower. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one on there. And I don't. And I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm going to leave it as a button. I know. And then see, once I get it going, it's going to explode everywhere again. Do y'all do y'all have the same struggle with your glue? Oh. oh, let me wipe some of the top off. You know, I don't want like a huge glob. There it comes. I know I should have just glued it on with my craft pick glue. All right, so we're just going to leave that one like a button because it's three different colors. All right. Oops. I know I might need that in a minute, but I don't know. But right now, I'm not. So I'm looking at that. And then I wanted to see about putting these little, whoops, these little, like, water bubble things. They're sequins, but no, there's unicorns in there. I didn't know there was other stuff in there. But, oh, and there are different colors. But this might be, oh, that one's clear. Well, poo. I guess there's clear and purple in here. Well, you can see in here, they look iridescent. But, I don't know. Maybe we, whoo, let's just let that one really shine. Okay, so it's not even picking up. So we won't even, you can't even tell it's purple on purple. So let's just screw that top on. <laughs> that's, that's just fine and dandy. All right, so, whoops. Then I was looking at putting that, but you know, I was, uh, I know now you're going to just watch me fuddle. <laughs> trying to get all the glue off of that one. I know I can do it on my own time. I just, there it is. Okay. Let's see if we have one more little, little white one <laughs> Whoa. available. I mean, that's blue, but see, now we're inducing something that doesn't need to be there. Okay, I think I'm going to do it. So, let's shake them back in. Piling my stuff up over here. Let me see if it's okay to wipe vigorously. <laughs> okay. Now, since this one's so little, but I am just going to go ahead and stick with, with this glue because I know it works and it's not going to take off the backing. Alright, let me get my little... 
picky. And that way we just kind of get rid of some of that orange. But we have some more some more sparkle bling bling going on there. All right. And then we're going to cut our fairy. I know as I'm cutting and going, you know, we only printed one. Don't mess this up. <laughs> so, yay. <clears throat> I know I'm just trying to get rid of some of the white on the very edge. And then we'll put that on there with our little fairy. I still see some glue. Oh, I hate not having fingernails. And I know better not to do it with my right hand because I'll have a mark all on there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to put this on here. And then give it a minute and then I'm, I'm going to, I got some silver um, book ends. To put on here just since we have so much silver iridescent and everything going on so we have fairy all right i know i sure got a lot of leftovers over here ah got some glue on my iridescent okay now let me just look to see I think this is going to be enough. I think if I start putting too much on here, one, two, three, four, five. We got one. Yeah. Anyway, I think if I, oh, even though that would have been now. Nah. Oh. Okay. So I do want to put. Nope. I think I want to pull some more of that purple from up top on the bottom. Like to there. Okay, so now that means scooch you. Let me move this. Let's see if it's going to work for me. Oops, I know I'm going to knock that over before it's all said and done with. to shake it back here <laughs> a little vigorously there we go whoops yeah see now it's really coming out I oh, just want to make sure the top is good and stuck underneath here I still want some of the sewing to show but I want my little flowers right there to poke out okay and just push that down all right oh, I know I got to look at it okay You know, I, I'm thinking I might just, you know, need to back away from it and put our bookends on. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry before I mess with it. 
and then I will put our book ends on and then we'll do a final flip through. Let me clean up all my mess. But I think, and I'm wondering if I need, I don't know, I don't want to cover the whole thing up, but okay. So let me put all my stuff up and then um, give it a little bit of time to dry and then we I'll put my corners on and then we will come back and do a flip through. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, have a great day, a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me and some of your day with me. I know I just got into this and totally forgot. Thanks for all your love, all your support. Here's lots of love and some kisses from me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. And we'll do our final flip through on that one. Okay, bye. Sorry, y'all.